All right, guys, we're going to talk about uh, some of the uh, developments we already have and some of the things we're working on now with a legacy company, Lockheed Martin. Uh, you see these two things, Ronnie Cronister from Lockheed Martin. We have the THAAD and the PAC-3, which is part of the Patriot system that everybody's That's familiar correct. with. Both of these systems are already being used, correct? That, that is correct. Uh, PAC-3 has... Uh, has been deployed and in use for several years now. And in fact, it's being used uh, over in the Ukraine. Okay. Um, that system has been deployed over there. Um, and THAAD has is, is also been deployed, um, you know, since about uh, the 2000 time frame. Uh, and both of these systems have, um, you know, specific purposes. Uh, PAC-3 is, is more of a lower tier defense yeah. type of a, a, an effector. And THAAD obviously is a theater hair, uh, high altitude air defense okay. effector. And, and although they've been in use for years, we were talking about it, both of these have been upgraded uh, nearly constantly, am I correct? Yeah, yes, Steve, and that's correct. And one of the things that, uh, that, that we see every day is the, the threat changes. Yeah. Um, and so we have to be very cognizant yeah. of that and we have to adapt our systems uh, to meet the, the okay. needs of that emerging threat. Okay, by the way, this one's made in Troy, correct? This Did system is, is built in, tro in Troy. So, okay, so. let's go. Well, you guys are always working, and we have these legacy systems that are in use, but uh, there's no stopping. There's no not thinking of the next thing. And this is one of the next things that Lockheed is working on. Tell us what this is. Yeah, so Steve, the THAAD and the, and the PAC-3 are, are, are more designed for a lower tier yeah. type of defense mechanism. This is the next generation interceptor. So think um, ground-based interceptors that we have deployed yeah. right now, our country has deployed. This is the next version of that. Again, the threats change, we want to make things better. This is for ballistic missile okay, defense. when you say ballistic missile, you mean the intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic, ballistic missiles defense that from, might be from, fired from halfway around the world? From, from, our, from rogue nations, okay. that, that is correct. Okay. And so this next generation interceptor is a program that's okay. uh, being managed out of Missile Defense Agency. Um, we are, um, have been very successful up to this point. Um, with this system, we're very excited okay. about where we're headed with that. Okay, now I want to talk about something that, that you guys and a lot of other folks are working on where we're, we're a little bit behind. And I mean, that's, that's been kind of common knowledge. And we're talking about hypersonics. Those are, they go five times the speed of sound or faster and can change course and do all kinds of horrible things that make them tough to detect and stop. And this is part of that. that that's correct, Steve. And so I would say that there's a, um, um, there is a, a very increased sense of urgency in how we, um, how we deploy and develop a, 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 an effector. And so this is a thermal protection system. This is actually a representative model of the front end of that hypersonic okay. weapon. Um, what Lockheed has done is there's a very thin shell on the outside of this, which yeah. is that thermal protection system. So if you think five times the speed of sound, it generates a lot of heat. Yeah. You have to protect those very sensitive electronics in there. This, this shell, if you will, yeah. of the thermal protection system was developed by Lockheed. And look, this is very exotic materials, yeah. very exotic manufacturing process. This is not a six inch putt to, yeah, no, to make and, this. And, and very quickly, none of these threats get easier to counter, do they? No, the threats change daily. Um, okay. I, mean, I mean, every day um, we see that uh, uh, all over the world, yeah. the Indo-Pacific region especially, especially um, that threat is changing, so we have to evolve our systems to meet those threats, too. All right, Ronnie Cronister, one of the companies that will be here that's working hard to defend the warfighter and Americans, too. That's correct. And so I'd, I'd just like to finish by saying that um, our country needs us to integrate these systems now. We have yeah. great capabilities, yeah. as you see. Uh, how do we integrate this to give our warfighter the yeah. easy button as they prosecute their threats? Okay, well, we'll talk more about that. Uh, but right now, that's it from the Von Brown Center, but we'll be back in the next half hour with more on why this symposium is so important.